Hello, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a little tour of my four paperback shelf on my bookshelf. I'm going to show the books that I've already read first and then go into my TBR. And I thought this was going to be the perfect video for Halloween because it will show my love of small press and indie horror books and hopefully give you some ideas of small press and indie horror books that you can check out. Not all of these books are small press, but I'd say at least 90% are. And I hope you enjoy the tour. Okay, so the first book that I have read is Stranded, which is a t the tiniest little collection of horror short stories. There's seven stories in this book about Lone Survivor, Deserted Island horror stories, and they are all mm, only a few pages long. I did like how, even though they were all about deserted islands, the all of the stories were very unique and had different things going on on these islands that made it really interesting. And this I got from Dark Regions Press. And we have Haunted Nights, edited by Ellen Datlow and Lisa Morton. And this is a fantastic collection of short stories all based around Halloween. And this one sticks out as one of the best short story collections I've ever read. Probably is the best. And this was put out by Blumhouse Books. Next is another new favorite, Beneath by Christy Demeester. And this is a fantastic cult horror novel put out by Word Horde Press. Next is a super unique zombie story, Where the Dead Go to Die by Aaron Dries and Mark Allen Gunnels. And this one was super emotional. It made me ugly cry for sure. This book was put out by Crystal Lake Publishing. Next is a book that I finished just this month, and that is Breaking the World by Jerry Gordon. I'll be talking about this book more in my wrap up, but it is another cult horror book put out by Apex Book Company. Next is Nicholas Gray's Gray Matter, which is a v another short book of short stories that I won in a giveaway and I'm so happy to have it. This is from our very own Spooky Noodles. I'll link his channel down below. He now has put out a revised version of this. That was my one complaint was the editing and it is now re-edited and it has a new novelette added, The Thing in the Ward that I really want to read. Next, I have the perfect Halloween read, Halloween Fiend by C.V. Hunt. And this is put out by Ground, Grindhouse Press. Here's a good one for Christmas time coming up. This is Nosferatu by Joe Hill. This was a fantastic book and it has an amazing audiobook as well, just so you know. Christmas Land is not a place that I want to visit. Here we have Mapping the Interior by Stephen Graham Jones. And I super love this book. It was the first literary horror novel that I read that made me discover my love for that subgenre. Next, we have The Final Reconciliation by Todd Kiesling. This book was full of horror and rock and roll. And what else can you ask for? You can find this one at Crystal Lake Publishing. Here's another one I finished this month, Cycle of the Werewolf by Stephen King. And this was a super short story about a werewolf in a town. And it has lots of beautiful pictures. And I really liked it. Liked it for what it was. 
This is The Rust Maidens by Gwendolyn Kiss, put out by Trepidatio Publishing. I love that cover. That cover is everything. And this was a body horror novel that seemed a bit YA. And it was really stinking good. This is Edge of Dark Water by Joe R. Lansdale. This was probably a dark crime thriller type book, but I put it under horror because it is dark enough to fit. The Worst is Yet to Come by S.P. Miskowski by Trepidatio Publishing. This is a really great novel. Here we have Body by Asa Nanami. I got this as a trade with Laura from Let's Get Fictional, and this is a collection of short stories, all focused on a certain part of the body. These are very quiet horror stories, and kind of everyday horror stories are things that could really happen, but they are disturbing in some way. The Bone Weaver's Orchard by Sarah Reed was such a good book. And it's about a young boy at a boarding school who is kind of an outcast and a boarding school ends up having some really strange things happening in it. This one is from Trepidatio Publishing as well. Here is Fat Camp by James Sabata. This was such a fun book. This is kind of a YA slasher book taking place at a fat camp. Most of the book is dealing with bullying, friendships, getting over loss, and um, becoming okay with who you are. And then the other half is a slasher, and it is a really good book. And I believe this one is self-published. And the last horror paperback from my red shelf is Christmas Horror Volume 1. And this is a really cool little collection of Christmas horror stories that I really enjoyed reading last year around Christmas time. And this is put out by Dark Regions Press. So the only books that I will not be showing in this video are the ones that I'm currently reading or will be reading in the next couple of months because I have those in my TBR shelves and I don't want to get them mixed up. But now on to my books that I have not read. This is Within These Walls by Anya Alborn. Anya Alborn is a great author. I've loved several of her books and I'm looking forward to reading this one too. I believe this is a cult whore. The Final Cut by Jasper Bark by Crystal Lake Publishing. The Thief of Always by Clive Barker. Banshees and Domain by Mike Barron, who is an indie author. I've bought these books at Comic Cons in Wyoming. Banshees is put out by Wordfire Press, which is a small press in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and Domain was put out by Expanding Realms Press. Legion by William Peter Blatty, the author of The Exorcist, one of my favorite books. Those Across the River by Christopher Buhlman, and I got this one from Timmy at Lost Cunningham. The Dumb House by John Burnside. Second Lives by P.D. Kasich. And the, this is my first of many Flame Tree Press books. The Haunting of Blackwood House and Secrets in the Dark by Darcy Coates. A Sick Gray Laugh by Nicole Cushing, which is a word hoard book. The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson. Grind Your Bones to Dust by Nicholas Day, put out by Accession Press. 
Devil's Equinox and the House by the Cemetery by John Everson. These are both Flame Tree Press books. Rogue by Greg F. Gafoon and this is a journal stone book. One by One and the Toy Thief by D.W. Gillespie. These are both Flame Tree Press books. This is Hellhound by Ken Greenhall. This is a reprint of an older book by Valancourt. Memento Mori by Brian Hauser. This is a word hoard book. Here's a Joe Hill I still need to read. This is The Fireman. I believe this is an apocalyptic novel. This is my collection of Jonathan Jan's books that I still need to read. First is a short story collection, Tales from the Shadow Side, that it was put out by Thunderstorm Books. Then I have Dust Devils, House of Skin, The Darkest Lullaby, The Sorrows, and Castle of Sorrows, which are all Flame Tree Press books. This is the Valancourt Book of Horror Stories, Volume 2, put out by Valancourt Press. The Last Final Girl by Stephen Graham Jones. And A Little Sorrow Talk by Brian King. This is a book of short stories put out by Thunderstorm Books. Whispers in the Dark by Laurel Hightower, which is a journal stone book. Another great one for Halloween, Blood Sugar by Daniel Krauss. This is from Hard Case Crime. The Hawk in the Woods by Carrie Laban. And this is a word hoard book. I still need to read Savage Season and The Thicket by Joe R. Lansdale. Hearthstone Cottage by Fraser Lee. This is a Flame Tree Press book. Let the Right One In and Handling the Dead by John Admi Lindquist. The Collection, which is a book of short stories by Bentley Little. And this is a Cemetery Dance publication book. The Watcher by Charles McLean. We Should Have Left Well Enough Alone, a book of short stories by Ronald Malfi, and this is from Journal Stone Press. Gill's All Fright Diner by A. Lee Martinez. Cold Moon Over Babylon, The Elementals, and The Complete Series of Blackwater, all by Michael McDowell. And these are all from Valancourt Books. Those Who Came Before by J. H. Moncrief. This is a Flame Tree Press book. Ugly as Sin, a novel of white trash noir by James Newman. This is from Apex Publishing. Waiting Out Winter, an apocalyptic story by Kelly Owen. Leave, this is self-published. It says it's from Gypsy Press. Next, I have the Chuck Palahniuk books that I am hoping to get to soon. Survivor, Lullaby, and Invisible Monsters. Chop Shop by Andrew Post. This is from Flame Tree Press. In the Eyes of Mr. Fury by Philip Ridley. This is a reprint of an older book by Valancourt Books. Stay Crazy by Erica L. Sativka. This is an Apex publication book. I also have Ghost Mine and Slash by Hunter Shea which are both Flame Tree Press books. I just read Creature this month and that was my first Hunter Shea book and it was amazing. Here's one I've been wanting to read forever. Carry and Comfort by Dan Simmons. A Killing Fire by Faye Snowden. This is a Flame Tree Press book. The Third Twin by Darren Spiegel. This is from Crystal Lake Publishing. Like Death by Tim Wagner. This is an Apex publication. Luke Coles and the Flower of Chilo by Josh Walker. This is an indie author that I bought this book at a Wyoming Comic Con. And it is from Forgotten Places Publishing. Greener Pastures by Michael Weehunt, a book of short stories by Apex Publishing. This book is Full of Spiders by David Wong. This is the second book after John dies at the end. Hug, Chicken Penny, Panegyric and the Anomalous Child by S. Craig Zoller. 
put out by Sin State. That is a very intricate cover. So those are all of my horror paperbacks. I hope you like this little sneak peek into my bookshelves. If you like this video, you can hit like and su subscribe and I'll be back very soon with another book related video. And let me know anything you want about these books down below.